A letter was found in an old house by the river. At first, it seemed like nothing more than words of longing. But hidden within its lines lies a secret message. Follow the river. Where it leads, only the letter knows. All assets and project files are available on my Patreon. The link in the description. First, let's add paper texture to the timeline. Now, change the ratio to 16 by 9, then, extend the duration to your liking. Upscale the paper texture until it cover the whole frame. And now, let's design the letter by adding text layers. For the font style, here I'm going to use the font called Miniday, which is actually a handwritten style font. You can use whatever font that you like. Now, let's add some text layer to highlight the secret letters in this letter. I'm just going to duplicate it from this text layer. So, let's type F for the first secret letter in the first seat and make sure that it has the same font size. I'm going to change the color to red for the highlighted letter. And then you just need to place it on top of the original letter. Now, you just have to duplicate the text layer to all of the secret letters. So, this is what it's going to look like. Now, let's move on to the next step. First, I'm going to add an animation to all of these highlighted letters. So select them, and then I'm going to drag them to this duration because I'm going to set the in animation here. Then go to animation. For the animation, I'm going to use fade in. Then, arrange the older text layer like a staircase, start from the bottom to top. Let's extend the duration a little bit. So, it's gonna look like this. Now, I'm gonna add this dark grey color to use it as a second background for the highlighted letters. Then, decrease the opacity a little bit. And apply the fade in animation to it. Set the duration to around 3 seconds. Align it with the first letter layer. So, it's gonna look like this.
Now, let's arrange this secret letter into a sentence. First, let's disable all of Theezy's secret letter layers by pressing V key. Then, just enable the one that you want to arrange, so it's much more easier to animate. After that, add keyframe on the transform for starting position, move forward a few seconds, and reposition the letter aligned center of the frame. Ease the keyframe to smooth the motion. Now you just have to do this step to arrange all the letters. So, it's gonna look like this. Now, if you want to make the sentence to be more centered to the frame, all you have to do is position the playhead at the end keyframe, then select all of these layers, and just reposition them to the center. Now let's move on to the next step. In this step, we're going to change the font of these sentence into a more readable one. First, position the playhead right around here. And I'm going to select and trim all of them. Then add a new text layer to rewrite the sentence. For the new font style, I'm going to use the one called League Sparta Extra Bold. Then adjust the character a little bit. After that, select all of these layers, and let's apply an out animation for all of them. I'm going to use the chemical dissolve for the animation. For the new font, I'm going to add inhale as the in animation, and set the duration to one second. Then, drag the layer overlapping the out animation of these layers. After that, let's give it a little zoom in using keyframes. So, it's gonna look like this. Now, let's select all of these text layers on the letter. And I'm gonna add type 2 for the animation. Set the duration to 1 second. After that, arrange the layers like a staircase. And compound all of them, including the background layer. Now, let add a zoom out motion at the beginning of this letter using keyframes. So, it's gonna look like this. Now, let's move on to the next step. First, add an adjustment layer. 
Then, increase the vignette a little bit. Now, go to Effect, cause here we're gonna add some of them to make this video more interesting. The first effect is Noise 1. Place the layer below the second background. Then, decrease the speed to 7%. The second effect is hazy to give a little bit blurry edges. Set the blurriness to 12%. And add keyframes. Move the playhead to here. And set the blurriness to zero. Now the third effect is called chromatic quirk. and set the setting to 38%. And the last one is I'm gonna add a faulty Cassie defect. Place on top and only at the font transition. And you can just follow my setting here. So, it's gonna look like this. And for the final touch, you can also add black bar here to make it look more cinematic. And also you can change the frame rate to 24. And here is the final result. A letter was found in an old house by the river. At first, it seemed like nothing more than words of longing. But hidden within its lines lies a secret message. Follow the river. Where it leads, only the letter knows. That's the video for today. Thank you guys for watching and also thanks to my patrons for always supporting this channel. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.